Today, in the automotive industry, seat belt with airbag are used to protect occupant in crashes but it also has a number of weaknesses and hazards. For example, in many small overlap tests, driver or passenger, slide between the front airbag and carton airbag and hit to the dashboard. And also inside crash, the body and head of the passenger thrown around and caused to a lot of forces applied to the head and neck of the occupants. The seat belt and airbag system is not much applicable in rollover of the car and the weight of the occupant is applied to the head and neck of the occupant. In rear end collisions with a trailer without a reinforced bumper, or side collision with a trailer, the seat belt and airbag systems is not applicable, and the upper limbs passenger is get stuck between the seat back and trailer. In severe traffic accidents, crumpling the front of the car causes the passenger's leg get stuck between the seat and the car's dashboard. In this invention, the condition of the seat and occupant safety bag is considered, which keeps the passenger in place, in heavy crashes, then raises the occupant's knee, and pulls the front seats back as far as possible. This invention consists of these parts. Crash sensor. Some crash sensors installed on the front and side of the vehicle. When the crash sensors determine that the car is indeed experiencing a crash, it sends signals to the ECU causing it to deploy. Seat belt. A seat belt mounts on the seat and moves forward and backwards with the seat, so that it does not lose its efficiency when the seat comes forward and backwards in the event of an accident. Crumple detection system. This system consists of some strain sensors are mounted on the body of the vehicle, on both sides of the driver's and front passenger's legs, as well as on the front pillars. In the case of crashes that crumple the car or the pillar collides with an object, these sensors send crumple report to the ECU. Occupant Detection System This system consists of a number of push sensors, which are mounted under the bottom of the seat, and into the seat structure, and compressed when sitting on a chair, 
and reports to ECU that there is an occupant in the seats other than the driver's seat. The sensor's report makes it possible for ECU to active occupant safety bag set any lifter systems for present occupant when crashes, and do not activate the bags for empty seats. Occupant safety bag set for front seat. This type of safety bag is embedded in the roof of the car, and is composed of these components. Guide rails. Guide rails are mounted on the roof of the vehicle, and the safety bag set moves along, depending on whether the seat is suitable for the driver, or during the incident and seat move back. Skid frame. The safety bag set is located on the skid frame, and the skid frame has this ability to move forward and backward in along the guide rails. Airbag inflator gas generator. When a crash is sensed, the control unit sends an electrical signal to the inflator. The chemical reaction is initiated by the igniter, generating primarily nitrogen gas to fill the airbag causing it to deploy the safety bag expander airbags. Due to rapid speed change of the vehicles involved in a crash, expander airbags must inflate rapidly to decrease the risk of occupant injuries by protecting them from hitting the vehicle interior. Safety Bag Expander Airbags After the explosion, the gas from the explosion first inflates the expander airbags. Safety Bag The safety bag is made of nylon fibers and is coupled to the safety bag expander airbags, and at the time of the incident, expanded by the safety bag expander airbags and fully covers the passenger's upper limbs and back of the seat. A mesh is embedded in the front of the passenger's face, so when the safety bag expanded, the passenger can see the outside during the crash and has no respiratory problem. The forces of a collision from the front enter the soft surface of the safety bag, and the safety bag also prevent the hands of passenger from being thrown to the sides. Airbag between the passenger and the door of the car, and airbag between the passengers. Nitrogen gas, after inflating safety bag expander airbags, enter into the airbags between the vehicle door and occupant, and airbag between two seats and inflates these two airbags is on both sides of the passenger. Inflation this airbag makes the safety bag tied around the passenger, and holds the passenger in place at the time of the accident, and also prevents the hands from being thrown around. Inside crash, the responsibility of these airbags is to protect the upper limbs of occupant from the impact applied from the sides. It also surrounded around the neck and head of the occupant and prevents the head from being thrown around, at the time of the incident. In the event of a car rollover, these airbags, by applying pressure on the shoulder of passengers, cause more passenger weight apply on the shoulders, and much less pressure applies on the passenger's head and neck. Top Head Airbags After inflating the airbags around the occupant by nitrogen gas, gas enters into bags above the head and causes it to inflate. In the event of a car rollover, the passenger's head collides with the soft surface of the airbag and prevents a passenger's collision with the car's roof. The method of work of this device is that, after the accident detection by the crash sensor, and the accident report to the vehicle ECU, the ECU causes the airbag inflator gas generator to be activated. The nitrogen gas resulting from the reaction causes the safety bag expander airbags inflates. At a later stage, the gas inflates simultaneously the airbags between the passenger and the door of the car, and the airbag between the two seats. And in the final step, it inflates an airbag overhead. Occupant Safety Bag Set for Rear Passengers Method of work of safety bag set for rear occupants, such as method of work of the front seats, except that the safety bag expander airbags inflate along the side guide rails. The guide rail is attached to the roof of the car and the side of the seat. Occupant Knee Lifter System This system consists of an airbag that is mounted on the front of the bottom of seat, and activated by the ECUs of the vehicle, and raises the passenger's leg. The high inflation rate of this airbag apply impact to the legs and waist of the occupant, which can decrease the inflation rate by using a compressed gas cylinder, to fill the airbag rather than the gas produced by the chemical reaction. AW-shaped airbag is used for the driver's seat, and the two seats behind the front seats, while lifting the passenger's legs, separates the passenger's legs from one another, so that they do not crash with the steering wheel or the front seat during an accident. Seat Pushback System This system consists of a telescopic pneumatic cylinder, 
fixed to the bottom of the car or fixed to fixed parts of the seat and is installed parallel to the seat guide rails that have the ability to quickly push the seat and the passenger back in the crash. Method of work The system is that in heavy crash, the explosives inside the cylinder will explode, and the telescopic cylinder will be extended due to increased gas pressure and will collide with the seat slider handle for the pushback system, and in addition to releasing the trigger of the seat, pushes the seat back. Seat Tilting System The system consists of a telescopic pneumatic cylinder contain explosives inside, fixed to the seat structure and have the ability to quickly tilt the seat back and the passenger in the crash. If strain in pillars are greater than maximum strain for example car collision with the back or side of a trailer, the ECU first lock the seat belt, then active seat tilting system and this system quickly tilt the seat back and the passenger. The cases of crashes that this invention can have at it. Frontal car crash. Driver or passenger side small overlap crash. Rear end crash. Side crash. Car rollover. Trailer rear or side under eye guard.